our next guest in National Treasure opposite Nicolas Cage, and again in Troy with Orlando Bloom, and now appearing in the new Quentin Tarantino film, Inglorious Bastards. Please welcome Diane Kruger. Diane! Diane Kruger. Wow. Yes. You were born in uh, you <laughs> were born you were born in uh, in, in, in eighty. Okay. But you were born in Germany. <laughs> I was born in Germany, yes, exactly. Oh. Uh, Ninety one. Wow. You have so much. Ninety one. Did you feel really old just then? <laughs> yes, I really okay. did. There Not that I don't feel really old every time. <laughs> Something like this walks out. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank uh, you. But, you know, Diane has spent a little time in New York in, in between yes. these movies, and uh, so uh, you're a little familiar with our show? I'm the biggest fan. I watch your show every morning. Is that right? Yes. W what did you work on Broadway or off Broadway? While no, you were I, no, I was living here. My better half actually shot a TV show that I was shooting here called Fringe. For Fringe, yeah, yes, sure, great. gotcha. Yes. So you were here on that purpose. Yes. And then all of a sudden this this movie opened up. Quentin Tarantino is a very sought after director. He sure is. Yeah. Yes. It's a big dream. I mean, he is I mean, every actor's dream, but especially for women. Mm -hmm. He is such a, you know, he writes the most empowering, intelligent dialogue for women, which is it's really refreshing, you know, yeah. you have to think about what you say. But this didn't come <laughs> easy for you. You're, you're actually German, but you yes. had to prove to him that you were German enough for the role. Explain why, why that was. Well, I, I guess it's a, a testament to my dialect coaches over the years. Um, but yeah, I, he didn't believe that I was German. I, I like, so I had to fly myself to Berlin from New York and, and you know, speak German and do the whole thing. What did you say to him when you walked in? Guten Tag. Achtung, ja. Los geht's, ja. It was funny because, you know, I, I, I play a German in the film. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so all the uh, English scenes that I have to do, I, I had to do a really strong German accent. And I really had to hold back to them. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Feisty <laughs> German girls. I know. Uh, is there much violence in the in the film? There is. I mean, it's a World War II film, so you, you'd mm -hmm. expect it. But actually, I think it's a little less gore than his recent films have been. Well, tell me about uh, the the plot. What what is it all about? Well, it, it's 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 it starts with Once Upon a Time in Nazi occupied France. So it's a little bit of a fairy tale like, but uh -huh. not a uh, historically correct movie mm -hmm. I'd say okay but it's about this group of uh, Jewish American bastards Brad Pitt <laughs> uh, eight Jewish uh, soldiers that come to France to kill Nazis <laughs> why are they called uh, you know I'm, it's so uh, I'm so it unfamiliar is. with saying this word on television it, uh, normally you get cans I know but but uh, why are they called that <laughs> they're ba you know, that's you're a question as good for Tarantino, but they, I guess, you know, they are, uh, they're not your usual, uh, you know, elite squat uh -huh. that is, you okay. know, military trained. They're a little, they're, their rules are a little uh, freer. And again. why is it misspelled. not spelled correctly? I don't know. People ask me that all the time. And, you know, I've asked him and he was like, oh, I don't, I don't know. You have to ask him. Mm -hmm. What is it like coming from, because you were famous before this, but once you hit the American market, you hit it in Helena Troy, that's when we first saw you. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it like making the transition and now competing for these roles? Yeah, well, actually, you know, I, I was so inexperienced and green uh, on Troy. That was my second or third movie ever. Mm -hmm. um, and I was so overwhelmed. So actually, you know, it's been a, a progress for me to actually learn and get experience so I've been but that was quite a coup wasn't it to play that fabulous woman <laughs> yes. on, 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 beautiful in this movie? Woman yeah in the it's world. daunting yeah. though too you know because you have 50 percent go oh, yeah okay I see and then others go blonde and blue eyes what are they crazy <laughs> <laughs> so talk about just the um, the experience from coming from being a supermodel and, and doing all of that and then you transition into the movie world did you have to go through a new kind of training to be able to execute your actress side well, actually, I come from dancing. I'm a classically trained ballerina. Wow. I, yeah, I studied with the Royal Academy. And, um, and that sort of didn't work out. I guess I didn't really quite have the talent. But um, so modeling was just, you know, it was something that sort of just happened. Mm -hmm. And it was wonderful. I lived here. I came to New York, um, you know, learned English and French. And, uh, but I've always missed, you know, stage to express right. emotions through my body sure. and speech. So. Sure. 
I've always wanted to be an actress. What was it like working with Brad Pitt? We're very familiar with him in New Orleans. He spends a lot of time yes. Yes. a lot made, of volunteer he made work. That wonderful movie down there, didn't Absolutely. he? Absolutely. That's right. What's he like? He he's more you know, I'm glad I got the, the opportunity to work with him again because I met him on in, in on Troy. Um, and I was so overwhelmed. I was like, oh, it's Brad Pitt. <laughs> you know? So this time around, knowing him and actually having to defend a really fun character, and so so did he. Um, you know, it was easy. There was no weirdness, no starstruckness anymore. You know, one time at uh, the Academy Awards uh, party after the awards out in out in L.A., mm -hmm. in comes Brad Pitt, and uh, Joy was. Uh, we were both, you know, gaga over this guy. He's a great looking guy, <laughs> and and so he comes over to me. And he says, do you mind if I take a picture with you? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. <laughs> so I brushed him. No, no, no. Well, you know, this is a funny story. On Troy, my grandfather, who's 85 years old, came to the premiere in Berlin. So sweet. And uh, I know, but he was so, he has no idea who Brad Pitt is. Right. So he's so excited, all these German celebrities. And he asked Brad if he could take a picture of him and like, I don't know, the mayor of Berlin. And I was like, ah, oh, sure. <laughs> so sweet. So, so sweet. anyway, Brad comes over. Can I take a picture with you? I, I said, yeah, and I'm thinking, why in the world? Am I that great? Brad Pitt <laughs> wants to take a picture with me, and then we're proposing for the picture, and he says, I'm sending this to my mother. She really loves you. <laughs> oh, just like that. I know. We'll be back with Diane Kruger in just a moment. So, uh, Diane Kruger is with us now. Did you say you, you're married or you're dating or you're fiancé or what are we going, what's going on uh, in your juicy life? <laughs> I guess Spill I'm it all dating, on the show. Yeah. <laughs> I've been dating for a while. Yeah. Uh -huh. And people know who this person is from Dawson's Creek, right? right? Joshua, Joshua Jackson. Joshua Jackson, yes. yeah. He was on the show. I came with him because I was such a big fan. I wanted to watch it. Uh, he was on this yes. show? Yes. Where were you? <laughs> I guess he left an impact on you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I love Joshua. <laughs> She just called you out. He's my buddy, Josh. <laughs> oh, man. No, you know, they come on the show and then they're gone out of your lives. Yeah. So he'll forget us in two me? seconds. Well, of course okay. I will, but I, I sobbed the night he was, when he left, you know? There we go. There we go. He was born but, in 95. In, in that's that's right. why you remember him. My God, pretty soon they'll be born in 2008. <laughs> Where does that leave reach? <laughs> the plot yes. in this movie it has to be emotional from somebody who is from Germany. You're dealing with a very tough topic. Mm -hmm. Did you ever have emotional moments while you were filming? Well, again, um, this, is, this is not your typical World War II film. Uh, uh, we changed the course of history quite a bit. Okay. And you're right, though. You know, when, you, when, you, when you're German, uh, you grow up with this heavy shadow on your shoulders, and you know, you know what happened. Even if I obviously don't remember. I don't know anyone sure. that, uh, in that time, uh, everywhere you go, people remind you of it. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I've never mm -hmm. wanted to, to make a film about World War II. I, just because I was born there didn't mean I wanted to associate myself necessarily with that. Mm -hmm. So this came along, and I just love the idea that um, I, through my character, Bridget von Hammersmark, helped bring down the Third Reich. I thought that's <laughs> wow. pretty cool. Bridget von Hammersmark. Bridget von Hammersmark. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's some title. <laughs> that's legit. Well, what, what is your relationship with, with Brad Pitt and these guys uh, in the movie? Because you're about to tell him some critical information in this clip. Yes. What, what, what is your... Well, this whole uh, plot idea of, of uh, assassinating Hitler uh. is really my my idea. I'm sort of the, the brains mm. of the operation. And Women these bastards... Are. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Um, um, get, they get introduced to me, and, and um, it's really because of their moronic behavior that this whole thing is, is more complicated than must be. <laughs> On that note, here's the clip. Yeah, she's giving Brad Pitt some critical information. <laughs> wow. Pretty darn good, huh? Wow. Ryan Kruger, yeah, the glorious bastards in the theaters this Friday, August 21st. You were terrific. You were good. Had a great interview, too. We'll be right back with the inbox with Lucy Bustamante and the news.